Thanksgiving and holidays in general are typically slow trading days. In traditional financial markets, volume and trade velocity tend to slow down as big money players spend time on vacations and with their families. But in the 24-7, 365 crypto casino, we get a glimpse into what markets want and where the money is going before we start the next trading week. And just this last month, XRP is up officially 244%. It's virtually outperformed every other major market cap crypto. In other words, when crypto markets are trading while other markets aren't, it's like a never ending barometer for demand and money flows into the upcoming week. And as things stand on supposedly two very low volume days, Thanksgiving and Black Friday, XRP overtakes BNB to become the fifth largest crypto by market cap and surpassed $100 million for the first time since 2018. It's currently the number Number one trending crypto on coin market cap. If you just click the search tab, you can see XRP is the number one. And it's also the number one trending crypto on deep on chain analysis tools like Santiment. As you can see here, it ranks at number one above Algo and ICP. Now, here's the thing if you're watching this video at any point in time through the weekend or even into the first week of December, consider yourself very lucky because, yes, you're still early. And this is just how crypto markets work. Most of the time, people start to to show up after tokens like XRP start pumping and getting a lot of attention. They start to get headlines in the traditional media outlets. This creates for an environment where we see retail investors FOMO in and we get blow off tops at far greater market valuations than typical. Now, here's the thing. This will be a short video, but rich with technical analysis. And we're going to talk about some key areas to watch out for on whether or not you should look at taking some profits, or maybe you're just looking for a solid entry and when to get in. And by the end of this video, I'll discuss that fabled $10 XRP target, which actually doesn't seem too far off anymore. So as always, if you're feeling blessed and bullish, comment 777. And if you're going to be the wealthiest person in your family tree, smash the subscribe button. Hello and welcome back to the channel, Bull Runners. If you're new here, my name is Paul. My X or Twitter handle is PaulieDefi. And first and foremost, we're going to hop on over to CoinGlass, which really kind of gives us a good fundamental understanding of what's really happening when it comes to leverage in the perpetual futures market. Basically, these are contracts that people are trading against each other or bets on whether or not the market's going to go up or down. And the reason I like looking at this is because it gives us a live feed of what's really happening in terms of investor sentiment. So I go ahead and hop down here to the second one where it says Bitcoin liquidation map. Then I come over here to BTC. I'm going to go over here to XRP. Then I'm going to toss it onto a seven day time frame because it kind of gives me more feedback than just the daily time frame at times. I'm going to get rid of Binance, OKX, Bybit, and leave it at that. And then from this point forward, you can see that this red line is the current price. And we're sitting about a buck 80 on XRP right now. On the right hand side, you can see that these are short liquidations. On the left hand side, you can see the red is long liquidations. In other words, when on the right, this is far smaller. You see, how small this area is relative to the one over on the left this means the majority of people are long in the market okay on the left hand side if the price of xrp hit a dollar 49 336 million dollars of liquidations would occur or people would lose 336 million dollars on the flip side if the market hit uh, about two dollars and six cents then anyone that was short at the current price or a price before here would be liquidated to the tune of about $60 million. What this is really telling me is anytime we have far more volume on the left hand side, the majority of the market's long. And I've found that the market usually continues to trend in that direction. So this is a good indicator that yes, you'd probably still want to remain long the market or to hold an XRP position. And I'll explain when to enter if you're not currently in but that's a pretty good indicator. Another indicator that I like to look at is I like to come over to, you go to super charts right here, and I pull up a few different things. I look at open interest and I look at liquidations, okay? On the open interest side, really what I wanna focus on before we dive into anything else is just the fact that we started trending up. As you can see here, our previous all-time high, or at least our local high, I should say, on XRP was about a buck 60. Whenever we hit that range here, you can see that open interest continued to trend up 
to the upside. This simply means that more and more and more contracts are being opened. In other words, longs are opening at the market. So this is a very healthy thing to see when the trend is legitimate. In other words, a breakout right above here where you see the trend continue to the upside and you see open interest continue to decline. That is indicative, sorry, indicative <laughs> of a, a strong trend. Okay, so that's really, really important to look at and I'm actually very happy that we're seeing this type of price action in the futures market. Now that said, into these recent pumps, you can see even just this month with that breakout above the descending wedge, something that we've talked about over and over and over again on the channel. Go ahead and watch past videos uh, that I've recorded where I show you exactly what's happened. That said, since December of 2017, XRP this month has officially passed its all-time high in terms of search volume on Google. This simply means that right now, uh, once November ends, probably like tomorrow, this will be the highest search volume XRP has ever seen, even more so than December of 2017. Now, typically, this indicates a local top in the market. As you can see here, December of 2017 wasn't the top, but January of 2018 was. So in similar fashion, we might see some really explosive moves where we might actually get a top in November in terms of search volume on Google. However, in December, January, we might actually get the actual top in terms of the price on XRP. Now, really quickly, before we dive into the rest of this video and whether or not XRP is going to hit $10 this bull run, if you haven't already, head on over to bullrunners.com. You can find the link in the description below or in the very first comment. Make sure it's the pinned comment directly from us because we also have a lot of scammers. It's just very hard to stay on top of it 24-7. They're literally like swarms of flies. So just make sure it's the pinned comment directly from the channel. But when you head on over to bullrunners.com, you'll see a page that looks something like this. And right now, we currently have 463 members. Once we hit a thousand members, the bonuses run dry. In other words, you'll never get access to those types of bonuses again. Now, this is a 26 minute video that explains everything that you're going to get when you decide to join our Altcoin Pro University, something that we've been working on very hard for a very long time and something that we're very proud to share with you. Now, if you are committed to becoming a crypto millionaire in 2025, this is going to be your one-stop shop education platform for that. We have over 100 hours of curated expert classes from industry leaders that actually work in the blockchain space. We're going to be sharing with you live calls and feedback. So if you have any questions, you can hop on a live call, something that we don't offer on the channel. We'll be sharing with you 10x, 50x, 100x altcoin picks. We'll be teaching you how to do technical analysis like a pro. We'll show you how to get the best DeFi yields and yield farming in the entire crypto industry and win to switch those out of one yield into another farm. We'll even give you guys airdrop alerts like no one else. So that said, if that sounds interesting to you and you are committed to becoming a crypto millionaire in 2025, then this would be the best platform for you. And you really have nothing to lose and everything to gain by simply checking it out. So go to bullrunners.com. Now that said, I can't guarantee you any results, right? Like everything that I share in this video is for informational educational purposes only. Like you would actually have to put in the work to be a millionaire but I would argue that this platform is going to get you a lot closer to that goal. So one last time, bullrunners.com, let's get back into the video. All right, so now what I want to do is compare the relative performance of stuff like Ethereum, Bitcoin, and even Solana versus XRP, because typically you'll want to invest in the strongest performer. This is something we call relative strength. In other words, you want to bet on the dark horse in the race. When something is stronger relative to everything else, you want to buy more on the dips. You actually want to buy into breakouts. And I'll show you exactly what that looks like. But since this point in time, I'm going to pull up Bitcoin first. Okay, so this green line is Bitcoin and the line indicates the percentage gain that you would have seen since November 3rd of 2024, when basically everything was kind of bottomed out before we started rallying. Okay, in that time frame, Bitcoin is up 41%, while XRP is up 260%. Again, you can see it over here on the right hand side. As a matter of fact, I'll even increase the size a little bit and I'll even get myself out of the way then I'm gonna pull up ethereum okay and in that same time frame ethereum is only up 19% indicated by this purple line so yes these are actually the charts and the price action of each of these tokens relative to or versus XRP and then finally Solana is 
one of the stronger performers in the entire crypto market as a major market cap crypto. And as you can see here, Solana, indicated by this orange line, is only up 21%. So it's actually underperforming Bitcoin as we speak since November 3rd of 2024. So you tell me what looks stronger and what would you want to hold on to? Now, I know this might seem counterintuitive. Well, one is up so much more and I want to buy it cheap and it's not cheap anymore. At the end of the day, that's not how we should think as investors. Instead, you want to bet on the favored or the chosen crypto. Where is the money going? On the flip side, you don't always want to chase markets, but I'll give you an example and I'll share with you some good places to buy back into a crypto like XRP. So let's say you've already sold your position or let's say you're looking to get into something like XRP and you don't want to chase the market because I also don't recommend you chase the market. Again, everything I share in this video, just my opinion, okay? Consult with your own financial advisor. This is not financial advice. I'm just letting you know that the best investors that I've ever studied and what I found to work really well for myself in my own portfolios is that I actually don't chase performers. I simply find where the performers are and then I get behind them at the right time. Right now, the market is telling me something. And what the market is telling me is that XRP is a really good investment right now. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up the four hour chart. Okay. This is a four hour time frame. I'm pretty confident on trading view. If you're not a paid member or a subscriber, totally fine. You can still get a four hour chart. Then I'm going to pull up a 10 and 20 EMA. Okay. This blue line is the 10 EMA. This orange line is the 20 EMA. And as you can see here, since the local lows at about 48 cents, XRP has been on an absolute tear, not only breaking out above that descending wedge or triangle that is 6.8 years of resistance essentially. And what has likely caused this thing to go on an absolute face melting rally. But what I will say is we've also been supported at that 10 EMA and then whenever we start to hang out for a little while, even the 20 EMA. As you can see here, multiple times we did break below, but we never actually really had a flip over on the 10 and 20 EMA. So for example, if I just hide this chart right here, we had one very small instance where the 10 EMA crossed over the 20 EMA only to cross right back over. And this would be a very bullish signal. But when I see this much strength in the market, I typically don't sell the first small crossover. I wait a few days to see is it a little trap and then I just hold my position especially if the trend looks really strong and especially if we are being supported so imagine this if I just turn this back on I turn the price back on as you can see here we got support at a double bottom right here at the previous local high you see how it just kind of touched into this local high range only to be supported and then to break right back out so when you see trends that are this strong you typically want to hold on for longer because it ain't done rallying just yet so this is a really good way to hold on to a position when you maybe lack some conviction or you're starting to get a little bit of fear in your heart around whether or not you should sell because you've been screwed over before, I just click on that hourly time frame as well. And the hourly time frame, you can see this trend is looking really, really strong, consistently being supported at that 10 EMA and well above this range right here at about a buck 60 for a breakout. So whenever you get these like cup and handle type situations, and in this case, it's not really like a head and shoulders here, but it would be right here. You can see that this is the shoulder. Well, more like a double bottom, I would say, sadly. Uh, this is a double bottom. We have one bottom here, two bottoms here. This could, you know, you be consider maybe a shoulder, but it's not really a technical head and shoulders because this shoulder, or this head is the exact same length as this shoulder. So that said, still a breakout in this cupping range would, would lead us to at least 100% from this move right here upwards. And as you can see here, we had about, and we'll just find out real quick, about a 23 uh, cent move. Did we experience that recently? Yes. We saw a 28% move or 28 cent move for an 18% gain. And from that local breakout and high, we are up 23%. Now, from the perspective of volume and RSI, which we're not going to cover too, too much right now, as you can see here into this breakout, we had an expansion of volume, even though you can see that we have a lot of red bars right here. Totally fine as long as you see volume consistently increase and the price consistently climb. At the end of the day, I think a lot of the times people see something like this and they look at it as, oh my gosh,
gosh, there's so much profit taking. But back here, we saw a lot of big profit taking. We also saw a lot of big green candles. So I don't really care if we see a lot of profit taking. What I care is that the price continue to remain strong and the trend remain up as well. So here we have this strong uptrend in terms of volume on the hourly. When you go to that four hour time frame, you can see it's the exact same thing. Mostly strong uptrend when average volume was below average right here. Only on the breakout did we see volume coincide. This is indicative of the trend. Now from the perspective of RSI, we're looking at a four hour time frame. You can see that we are officially getting what you would call a bearish divergence. So we have a, our peak right here in terms of relative strength. And you can see that even though, you know, I'm not coming through this range right here, generally speaking, we are trending down in terms of strength even though in that same time frame the price is trending up. So I do believe we might get one last really like you know hoorah if you will. See how the price is trending up and however relative strength is trending down. Again, bearish divergence. I believe that we might get one last hoorah to a price range of about two something before the market starts to break down. And more often than not I'll come and zoom out. Again, when in doubt zoom out. You can see that our previous range high was about a buck 96. So sometimes you'll break right above Above that range on some sort of a rally only to see the market break right back down so I have some take profits now this is not what I recommend for everybody I'll go ahead and remove that right there I have some take profits in the range of about a buck 96 all the way up to two dollars and 14 cents and I'll be taking profit in this range only to buy back in when the market cools off a bit and as you can see here even on the daily time frame we have a massive expansion of volume to confirm the trend so yes this trend is legitimate however because we saw a resistance here in the past I thoroughly expect profit taking to happen there and I also expect this bearish divergence to play out for a breakdown back into some ranges maybe like a buck 30 down to a buck 50 or we might hang out for a while into the next month as things stand I'm currently holding my positions so from a daily time frame uh, if you're looking to get in and you're waiting for that fable $10 target if it does happen I would buy back in sometime around this orange line here at the 20 EMA because if you're not already in it your risk to reward ratio is quite small your reward could be upwards of two dollars and something cents however your risk ratio is actually lower at about a buck 20 which is quite far down from a buck 80 currently However, what I love is the fact that I think XRP is truly going to break out to new all-time highs. And many people believe it's going to break well above the $5 range. I think about a $5.25 target is my first major target on a breakout to a new all-time high, just based on the market cap and based on the fact that the team might release some of those tokens. However, what I've also found to be true is the fact that at $2, we might have about $120 billion market cap and I could see that thing 5xing. In other words, the market cap of XRP might actually hit $600 billion this cycle. And even if it didn't, let's say it hit $400 billion, but we have a true supply crunch where there's a liquidity crisis inside of these exchanges. There's too many buyers and not enough XRP. Sometimes you don't even see the market cap climb as fast as you see the price climb. In other words, sometimes the price can truly have a blow off top with an insane amount of demand. But in those types of scenarios and situations, it will hit a peak of maybe 10 to 14 dollars and then just drop heavily another three to four dollars down so it's really important to pay attention to those types of things sometimes the market cap doesn't actually have to be consistent with the price but over time as all things happen you will see a balance in the market cap and the price uh, but when there's some serious demand and there's a low supply available prices can truly skyrocket so I could totally see XRP hitting a 500 million to a 600 million dollar market cap this bull market cycle Cycle, especially as we are now back above that 3% dominance of the entire market. So if you enjoyed the video and you learned something new, be sure to smash the subscribe button and like the video. It helps us out. And one last time, if you're ready to become a crypto millionaire and you liked the video, you learned something new. Well, then this is just a taste of what you're actually going to get in terms of the value and the education. When you head on over to bullrunners.com, you can watch this 26 minute video. It explains everything you're going to get inside of our altcoin pro university. And again, we are currently at 463 members. We launched like two and a half weeks ago, three weeks ago. And after as the bull market continues into the end of the year, I'm confident we're going to hit that thousand member mark. And when we do the bonuses run dry, you will no longer get access to the bonuses, which we talk about in this video. So one last time, bullrunners.com. Thanks so much for watching the video. I look forward to seeing you in the next video, my friend. Goodbye.